How would you respond to the criticism that while in opposition you scoffed at the notion of a state of emergency and given the increase in crime and violence and gang-related incidents in Belize City, you're forced to have to resort to that very measure? It's not a matter of being forced, Isani. Um, what we have to understand when we look at human rights is that there is a basic right to life that we have to observe. Even as human rights advocates, um, we see where the trend was going, the pattern, young men of killing one another, and it really is a domino effect because the re retaliation that is taking place um, as a result of one single murder, it then amounts to about 10 in two weeks. And so really we thought that it was necessary uh, to hit the pause button. Um, like I said, reluctantly so. We, we don't want to have to resort to this, um, but we have to at this time because we saw in May where I think there were 10 murders that were gang related and early on in August, again, we had about four or five. And so we need to have these young men um, sit down so that we can all discuss, uh, that we can have intervention teams, counselors go in to try to sort out the differences with these young men because this is not something, like I said that any government would want to do but at the same time we have to protect our law-abiding citizenry